and it's a very warm and humid night across East Texas. I want to get you to your temperatures and the moisture content that we have because we do have some storms in the area and they're moving into an environment that might be able to sustain the storms for a little bit, but I still don't think they're going to be as intense as they have been out to our west. First and foremost, not quite as warm as we were today. Most of us were well into the 80s. We're now down into the 70s. The big difference between last night and tonight has been the fact that we've got more Gulf moisture in the area. Check this out. Dew points in the middle to upper 60s, some lower 70s from Trinity up into Houston and Anderson counties there, so it is quite humid. And the culprit is a warm front that is moving to the north and will eventually move into Arkansas and Oklahoma here in the not too distant future. That being said, Yellow watch boxes out for a severe thunderstorm watch to our west. I'm most concerned about the showers and thunderstorms along the Red River. You can see for portions of Fannin and Lamar County. That's a severe thunderstorm warning that's tracking across US Highway 82 from Bonham to Paris. And then a little further to the south, we get to Hopkins County, technically in our viewing area, to the north of I-30, really between Interstate 30 and the Sulphur River. We are seeing some pretty heavy rainfall. And then we do have some convection that has developed to the south and to the southwest of the Trinity River there in Navarro County. Pretty intense storm continues to move over I-45, and some of that will move into Henderson County within the next 30 or so minutes. So we'll track this complex of showers and thunderstorms storms as it moves to the south and to the southeast by midnight. It is in our northwestern counties, central counties by about one or two. Now, will it be this intense? Futurecast is just an estimation of what the radar is going to look like, and I don't think it'll be this intense, but nonetheless, I want you to be weather aware tonight and really for the next several days because this is what we like to call complex of thunderstorm seasons where we could see several of these thunderstorm complexes forming to our west. Some of them will be strong enough to get into our area and produce some gusty winds. Look at tomorrow kind of at the end of the daytime heating 7 8 o'clock more showers and thunderstorms out by the DFW area. Those push off to the east, but weaken as they do so. And then again on Saturday, another complex of storms forms and that will try and inch its way to the east. And this trend will continue as we head into next week. So low temperature tonight, 71 30% chance of showers and storms. Some of you will see the rain. Others of you will not high temperatures back up into the middle to upper 80s. Now we did have an updated drought monitor. Not much here in East Texas, which is great news out to the west. That's where we do have abnormally dry conditions transitioning into a drought for portions of West Texas. OK, back to that seven day forecast. I'm not concerned about the drought over the next seven. While I don't think we will see rain every single day, I do think some of you will see rain on any given day over the next seven. If that makes sense, we've got a very warm, moist, unstable environment, which does mean we'll see rain in the area, but you're not going to see it every single day there in East Texas. Approaching 90 for deep East Texas, including Lufkin, Nacogdoches and Crockett Saturday and next Monday, looking at 90 and pretty close all the other days. So quite an active pattern for us, Neil. Humid. Humid. Hair by wearing blend.